This is Jerry with Balance Community Slackline Outfitters out here in sunny Lyons, Colorado to talk to you about the new Prim 40 Slackline kit. Let's walk through the setup. All right, the first thing we're gonna need for this static end of our line is gonna be the sewn loop side of our webbing, one of our tree pros, one of our tree slings, and the BC shackle. So find yourself a nice solid tree with at least 12 inches in diameter at the height you want to rig it. And take your tree pro, wrap it around the tree. And then take your tree sling and pass it through the black straps on the tree pro. Bring the two ends together, open your shackle up, and pass it through to the slots in the sling. And then take your sewn loop and put it on the pin of the shackle, closing the shackle up. There we go, that's our static end. And now we're going to walk this line flat to the tensioning side. For the next step, we're going to need four carabiners. One tree pro, one tree sling, a rigging ring, and one line locker ring. All right, so same thing on tensioning end. You want to find a big sturdy tree with at least 12 inches at the height you want to rig it. Take your tree pro, wrap it around, cinch it, take your sling, pass it through the black straps. Now, take one of your carabiners and your rigging ring, pass one end of the sling through the ring, and clip your carabiner to one of the slots. Now take the other end and clip a slot in that one as well. Then position your ring so it's facing the static end of the line. And now you can clip two carabiners to that ring. Make sure the gates open in the same direction, on the same side. Now we can build our line locker. All right, so roughly 90% of the length of the line away from the static end, we wanna build a line locker. So take your aluminum chain link and your webbing and make a fold a bite just like that pass it up through the ring around and then up through the same direction again open it up and clip your carabiner and you want to make sure it opens away from the line locker and on the same side as the ones on the tensioning tree so now we can build our tensioning system all right, to build the tensioning system, take the tail from your line locker, which should be on the bottom, and run it towards the tensioning tree, passing it up through the bottom carabiner. Then go back towards the line locker carabiner and go up through that one as well. Now back towards the tensioning tree, go down through the top carabiner. And then finally, up through this front carabiner, passing it under the previous tail. And now that's what's holding the tension. And now we can position ourselves behind the tree and pull tension. Once that's hard, we can install the, the multiplier. All right, so we're gonna need our final two carabiners and our second 
line locker ring for this. So clip one of the carabiners to the ring, making sure that the gate opens in the same way on the, as the other ones. And now we're gonna build another line locker right here on this tail. So form a bite as close to this front carabiner as you can. Pass it up through the line locker ring, around, and up through the same direction. Open up the loop on the inside and clip this carabiner. Again, opening on the same direction as those ones. And then take your tail and go down through this carabiner and then down through this one. So now we've built another tensioning system on top of our tensioning system. We can pull that until it collapses. And then we'll need to reset this line locker. The best way to do that is to unclip this, pull this carabiner out, pull the loop out there, and then just reposition the first loop. Go back around, open it up, clip the carabiner, and then reclip it here. Pull, reset, pull, reset. Do that until you have enough tension in your line. It helps if you have a longer tensioning system. As you can see here, I'm very short, that's for the film. So increase this length here in the beginning and it'll make the multiplication a lot easier and faster. So now let's go over the backing up of the tail. So now we've reached the tension we want and we still have our multiplier installed. So uninstall that. And you can clip all your hardware either to the ring or somewhere on your anchor. You won't need the, the second carabiner in the line locker ring. We can build our backup straight to this carabiner on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is build a munter hitch. So to do that, I'll link this below as well. We're gonna make a, a loop like that with the tail behind and then go up and over just like that and clip right there. So cinch that up by pulling on this part and then cinching it there. And then now we're gonna complete this knot by doing a mule hitch. So create another loop like this, sorry, like this with the tail on the bottom and then go up over everything with this, a loop and go down through that loop you just created. There we go. And to finish it off, we can tie some half hitches around the whole thing. And the second one. And there we go. We are rigged, tied off, safe, and ready to walk. So now that we're done for the day, we wanna take this down. First thing you wanna do is undo your backup. Pop that, undo the munter hitch. And now we need to pop this tail out from underneath here. So remember, there's still tension on this line. So as soon as you do that, it's gonna tug on this tail to release tension. So what you wanna do is position yourself way over here with a good amount of tail, grab it, pull until it pops out, and then slowly let tension release. The longer the line is, the more that's going to want to move. So be mindful of that. But once the tension is off, you can unclip everything, deconstruct your line, pack up, and head home. All right, that about covers the setup and takedown of the Prim 40 Slackline Kit from Balance Community. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to us at balancecommunity.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.